All right, today I'm gonna to wire up my uh, six string bass here. And uh, I've had a lot of people asking about uh, wiring and how, if it's hard and stuff like that. It's not really that hard. Actually, what I've done over the years, I memorized different ways to wire. But this is the way I like to do it for six string bass. So you basically have two volumes and three tones on it, basically. And uh, I think that when you're playing it, it's, it's got a pretty decent tone options, which is pretty cool and stuff. So let's get wiring in here. This here is the uh, bridge, excuse me, no, the neck pickup is the red one, and the bridge pickup is the uh, is the yellow one. We'll go ahead and wire it in. It doesn't really matter which ones you go with or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and start wiring that in. And I want to do my capacitors. Set those in, get these lined up correctly together. Let's do that. There we go. There. So we have the four. It's in the center, sort of. So, so we have volume, tone, volume, tone, and then a tone. We'll go with that. All right, let me go ahead and start wiring this up. So just want to put in my uh, my capacitor into the tone. There we go. Like I said, this might not be a long video because I kind of take my time doing it. But, uh, there we go. It's in there nicely. Have I got my other capacitor here. Like this. There's that, that here, and then I'm going to have to wire these ones into here. These are a little loose. I can tighten these pots up later. There. I probably can't see anything that I'm doing because my, my finger is in the way. All right, let's go ahead and put that in here like so. All right. Yeah, it kind of sucks that you can only see my fingers when I'm putting this stuff in. All right. I'm gonna solder this in. Hell, I put my solder there. It is. All right. All righty. that and nice and tight and then we got the ground we'll just ground to the top of the pot of course that's in there let's back out and we got this one here I put it right there All right. And keep that up or away from that. Here we are. A pain in the butt sometimes to do this, but here we are. There's that one. In there. These were wired up here. Like that. Man, it's bugging me. I might want to tighten that up real quick. There we go. There. Got it. There right, we have that. So I'm going to take this. Oops. Put a little bit of solder on the top. Or the uh, ground it off the pickup. See, I got 
Good connection here. Got that. We'll do the same on the other one. I keep losing my solder. Here we go. So we got the already got the uh, pickups wired up. Now we want to take the centers, and then uh, because you know these guitars or basses they don't have switches, so instead of having a switch, we can go ahead and run from the center to this uh, to this volume over here, which it will basically a tone. So we'll run that out on both sides and then uh let's see then we'll run that directly out to the to the output jack on it all right let's see here that in do it on both sides For that one, I like the sheathing because you can actually take it once you put it in, you can actually pull that sheathing back down to really cover all that. Run that through, maybe I could run it under some things or whatever. Let's see, I'm gonna do a second one. Where's my cutters? They're right here. All right. Shit, just don't want to go. <laughs> All right. Do I take these? I just wrap them both together. What's your picture? The, um, the angle I got of this camera is so crappy. So it's that. Take them both and right in here. Print those down a bit. There we go. That. Oh, that's wired in. Then we just want to take a wire. I only have black and white wires because it can get confusing. So here we go. Then we'll take uh, another white wire. We use that as a hot. Then we'll run to the center lug on this same pot. 
It's kind of hard to angle because it's stiff. It's kind of stiff. It's wire and uh, a little bit pain in the butt to work with sometimes. There's that. Got that. We can shut that back down. And Nick can just take this and. Oh, when I did my uh, shielding, let's put that hole, hit that hole real quick. There we go. There. Shielding hole there. Like that. So I'll just take this here, which should go to the output jack, to the hot. Maybe we didn't wire up the ground yet. All right, got this. Put this out of the way. Right here, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way as much as possible so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I need to go ahead and take this and set it up on the other pot here for the, the other town here. That. Oh, I swear I can lose my solder. Here we go. And got that. So that's all wired up. The only thing left to do is to run the ground. You run the ground, all you have to do, let me put some on here, is just run it around the whole thing, make a little loop around every pot and then uh, be all set. Let me go ahead and just wire up the, uh, this is for the, uh, hold on a second, there we go. This black wire is for like, because I have it under the bridge, I didn't install the bridge yet, but uh, that's what it's for. Put that thing out of the way. So under the bridge it'll have, it'll, you know, ground off the whole system have that. All right, let's go crazy here with some black wires and then uh, we'll start going through. And of course what I'll do is I'll hit a black wire all the way around on the top of the pots and then out to the output and that's it. And then, like I said, there's a bunch of different ways you can wire a guitar correctly. This is the way I like to do it. Because it sounds good, you know. I mean, on the amp, it sounds good through the pickups and stuff. But yeah, you can wire it in a bunch of different ways. All right. That. Good. I'm going to get a better soldering iron sometime. Let's get the junk ones from Walmart for now. No idea why. There's that. I keep linking them together here. That's why it's so much nicer, I think, to have the sheath kind of uh, uh, wiring because uh, you don't have to use your you know, your, your wire cutter things like this. You don't have to use it on that. It's already kind of tinted, so you could tint, you know. See, it's a lot better. There we go. The next one, a little bit of solder on it. And uh, along here, get them all real quick. Yep. All right. Here we are. Should be all right. 
Okay. that oh yeah there we go and all right I'm going to add a little more solder to this one. Let me add a little bit more of that. There's that. There's that. Alright, one more pot and it runs out to the output. Got a little bit more of this as well. Okay. All right, that's really all there is to it. And then we'll take this, run it through the hole here, and then that goes to the output run out there so have the output now find something interesting here do this I'll grab my multimeter and before I wire everything up you know well no I'll have everything wired up well I do that I'll make sure everything's turned on all the pots and before I actually hook up the uh, output I'll take the hot and the ground here's the ground of course then the hot and I'll actually check it on my multimeter to make sure that the pickups are working. And then, there we go. I don't think you can see my multimeter, of course. I'll put it right here. Maybe you can see it. But you can see that it's working on there. Got a little bit of a glare on there. Let's see. Put it over here. You can see on the multimeter that it's got power. There you go. So it's nice to know that before because everything's set up and that's the whole system there. But it's not really hard at all to wire stuff up. I was kind of a little bit, a little bit in a hurry just to, if I want the video being too long and boring and all you can see is my fingers <laughs> and stuff. But I got my, my output right here. I can go ahead and solder that in. I'll, you probably, let me see, I don't think I can get it on camera, sadly. Maybe I can. Let me try to do it on camera. You can tell right here, this one here is the ground and in the hot. All right, let me see. This might be a little bit long. That's all right. A little bit like this. And then, uh, on our 
it's hard to do with be able to hold it with your hands. But, uh, there's that one. That's the ground. And then we'll do the hot real quick. Hot. Here's the hot set. So the whole thing's just wired up. So we got that. We'll push this back in. I got a bunch of extra wire I didn't need, of course. And then uh, we'll run it right through. Back like that. I can screw this thing in later. I'll have that going on. There we are. So that is. There we go. There is the wiring. It looks boy, it looks like a mess. <laughs> but uh there you go. There's not much to it. It's wired, but like I said, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it correctly. This is the way I like to do it. I think the tone sounds really good with a with the wiring like this and things. So, you know. But yeah, that's it. Did it, it took me 21 minutes. <laughs> what a mess. All right. Well, that's my video. I'll talk to you later.